Good day everyone, I'm Dan. A very long welcome back to my channel, Pretty Average Astro. It's definitely been a hot minute. I wasn't expecting to be away this long, but that's that's life. Had a few injuries and just life in, in the way in general like it does for, for us all. If you still hang around, that's awesome. I'm glad you're still here. And if you've joined uh, whilst I've been gone, welcome. I am alive and this is a real channel. So I haven't really picked the right time because I'm losing light and I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the camera. So I'll try to be quick. The last video I did was this Skywatcher portable rig that I've put together. I don't know how this is going to go. I know there's going to be about a thousand picks inside updates that I'm going to have to figure out and learn all over again. The last time I shot this, it tracked really, really well unguided, but it had dramas with dithering and I ended up doing unguided exposures or I guided without dithering. I can't really remember, it's been that long. So pretty much this is going to dust off the cobwebs, get back into it, choose a target. I've missed out on Orion and all those really good targets, except the Carina Nebula. So that's going to be my main target that I'm going to try and get as well as the Lagoon Nebula and possibly the Tarantula Nebula for, for this series. Hopefully I'll get a few days uh, out of it and get a decent amount of data, but we'll, yeah, see how we go. I can't even remember how to polar align, to be honest, so I'm gonna take my sweet ass time. It's probably gonna be a long night, but that's the best thing about this hobby. I guess you can just drop it and leave it and you can always come back to it and you're always learning, even if you have to learn everything over again. So I hope this turns into a success and hope you enjoy the video, but let's see how we go. And to just run through my rig a little bit closely. So as I said, we've got the Skywatcher AZ, oh, Star Adventurer GTI, sorry. I've got the Zewo 533 MC Pro, and I believe I've got the L Ultimate filter in there, I hope so. Uh, I've got the 290MC uh, planetary camera that we use for guiding with the SV Boney uh, 50mm guide scope, which I've had forever. The Skywatcher 50ED guide scope, is that even the full name? God, I'm so bad. And the ASI Air Mini. And yeah, I think that's about it. A little Jew heater uh, SV Boney, but yeah, it's ultra light, uh, smaller than I expected when I first got it. I probably won't do it today, but I am hoping to try and sync it up over Wi-Fi with the a ASI Air, just to have one less cable connected, uh, which is always good, but also I'm sure that'll give me even more issues, so I'll probably leave it hardwired for, for this week. Alrighty, well again, fast forward another two weeks or so. Those first two nights ended up being really successful-ish. I got about two hours on the Lagoon Nebula. Uh, tracking was awesome this time around, so I think I was around 0.3 to 0.5. And then about the week after, we had a really good week and I ended up doing the Carina Nebula for about 12 hours or so. And that picture, uh, even though I've shot that a few times, it's probably the best one I've done so far, so I hope you enjoy that. That took about seven hours on PixInsight to process the data. I've got a uh, M1 MacBook Air, so the first Apple Silicon MacBook that came out, and it, it, it still works, but uh, it's starting to struggle just a little bit, but besides that, yeah, couldn't be happier with this little rig. It's been really, really good, and I'm not sure what I've done with my tripod. So I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, shoot next. Might try a Galaxy this time. I had to, had pretty good success last time I shot a Galaxy, so we'll see how we go this time. But hopefully it won't be too long in the next one, but 
Again, thanks for your patience. And if you're still hanging around, thanks for that. But I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.